Nearly two decades ago, Apple changed the face of technology. Well, what we're going to do is get rid of all these buttons and just make a giant screen. Driving a touchscreen takeover into high gear. Everything from how you order to how you read to household appliances and even cars have been touched by the trend. It said go to the right. It can't mean that. No, this is the light. Stop yelling at me. No, it's stop not yelling. Yelling. There's no light here. But this morning there are growing calls to rebuttonize from frustrated consumers. There are days when I'm on my iPhone on an iPad watching something and then I go to my computer and I touch the screen and I'm like, wait, why is this not working? Because I think it's just a lot for our brains. Oversaturation of screens. Yes. Tablet, brightness down. Over the years, companies discovered consolidating functions into a single tappable display can be cheaper and allow us to accomplish more than the Blackberry's classic clicky keyboard. But the Wall Street Journal explains the problem with touch-based interfaces is that they aren't touch-based at all because they need us to look when using them. That can be especially problematic behind the wheel. Does it feel distracting when you actually have to look at the touchscreen? Yeah, I think it does. And research agrees. Adjusting devices such as touchscreens increases the risk of a crash 4.6 times. That's a bigger impact than climate control or radio buttons. I cannot be the only one that hates with a passion touch screens in cars. Now, dials, buttons, and physical controls are being prioritized in design, from e-readers to automakers like Volkswagen and BMW, which owns Mini. You have an array of toggles at the bottom, as well as some customizable buttons on the steering wheel. We're trying to do things in multiple ways so that it really is the power of choice for a customer. Even Apple is biting, adding two new buttons to their latest models. A click launches your camera instantly. Tech experts say it's about embracing the best of both worlds. I do think we're going to start to see more of these manufacturers start to converge and think about where does a touchscreen make sense and where does a simple button or knob or control make sense for a user. Terrible. The loss of buttons reminded consumers largely of two things. One, they're simply more satisfying to press. Think of video <laughs> game controllers. True. And two, they can be more practical, giving us immediate, tangible feedback. It's a reminder that sometimes the best solution is, guys, oh, the girl, you easier your one. Look Gotta have the you. It's satisfying, right? you have your Blackberry, oh, too. Yeah. Yeah. And the Black Come to Mama. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I've missed you. It's actually so. yours. Yeah, thank you. Do you remember that? <laughs> oh, gosh, what? Yeah. Yes, did you oh, not? Yeah. I loved, loved the Blackberry. It. Loved it so much. All that's old is new again. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Sam. Thank thanks, you. Fun. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.